This short library video will introduce you to scholarly communication. Scholarship isn't static, it's a conversation that's constantly evolving as research findings are shared, published, built upon, proven correct, or discredited. That's what academia is all about, people producing research and others responding by criticizing, supporting, and or building upon that research, which then generates new ideas and new knowledge. The knowledge produced and shared through this cyclical process is scholarly communication. There's different ways to contribute to scholarship. You might already be familiar with scholarly journals. Other ways research and or data might be shared include on websites, open repositories, at conferences, or discussions on blogs or other online communities. Because scholarly communication is a conversation where ideas can be debated over long periods of time, it's important to know that conversations can evolve, they have a history, and we don't know where they will end. When researching, it's important to know that a source might not represent the only, or even the dominant perspective on a topic. Some questions, such as the capital of a country, or the boiling point of a chemical element, might have a single answer, but there are many that don't. As you read, write, and talk in your studies, you will gain knowledge about the unique language, processes, and approaches in different subjects. This will help you understand the contributions of particular articles, books, and other scholarly pieces to help you understand the conversations that are going on. Good researchers seek out a variety of perspectives within conversations, not just the ones that they agree with. While we can find scholarly communication by academics documented in places like academic journal articles or books, there's ways you can play a role in scholarly communication happening around you at the university. As a student, there's a variety of ways to contribute to scholarly conversations. This might include participating in class discussions, submitting to an undergraduate research journal, or doing a conference presentation or poster. If you have more questions about scholarly communication or want help exploring scholarly conversations, ask us chat, email, phone, or drop by. This concludes the short library video on scholarly communication. <music>